So let's jump back to Keyshot, take a look at our web viewer scene, which is that, sh that chair that we've been looking at. And I will point out right away that this is the multi-material applied to that chair. So it's titled chair and um, it's followed by all of its variations. So we have a solid orange plastic material, a gradient green plastic. We got a hydro dipped, looks pretty cool. And then we got this pink one with a key shot logo. So that's what we're working with in this scene. And I'm ready to send it and share it with someone else, right? Maybe I want their opinion on which material they like the best. So I'm gonna hit file, upload to Keyshot Web Viewer. And then that gives me that upload window that we looked at. So like I mentioned, we can check on or check off those advanced options, but we're totally fine with that 80%. Um, so we're gonna leave it like that for now. I am definitely going to hit bake textures because I do have several uh, textures and a couple labels on those submaterials that I want pulled through. And then the add mobile friendly textures option, um, that one's going to, to output a, a second version of each texture in, in a lower quality so that you can load it faster on a mobile device. So if you know that that's what you're gonna do, you're gonna send it to someone who's gonna view it on a mobile device, then checking this on might be helpful. Like I said, we can set a password. Did I spell Keyshot right? I did. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the keyboard. All right, uh, but we're not gonna actually send it with a password. So we'll just uncheck that for now. Um, and then of course the cloud storage. So you can see I have 10 gigabytes of space. I haven't used anything. So it looks like we're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click package. Um, and this is, should be a pretty quick process here. There are ways to manage your storage with your cloud account that, um, you know, that way, you know, if you, if you look at this number here and you're like, oh, I can't upload that because I don't have enough space, um, or it gives you a, a warning in some situations where you don't have a space, you will get um, a link here to manage that storage and, um, you know, have the option to delete maybe some previously uploaded scenes in order to make space for this one. Uh, but that looks good. So we're just going to hit upload. Um, and that's, that's essentially the process. Um, I will click this link and hopefully it opens in the right. Yes, it does. Perfect. Um, so this is the Keyshot Web Viewer loading up here. Um, we've got our navigation bar with the name of our project, which is really nice. And then you can see that I can freely spin this model around, zoom into the details of this chair. And then as I mentioned, we have our touch friendly mode here. So we're looking at that orange, but I can switch and I can zoom in um, and view that chair in any material I'd like. Uh, one other thing that I did not mention when we we're actually in Keyshot um, is actually environments are pulled in automatically as well. So in that Keyshot scene, I had three environments. So I had the studio, which is what we were looking at, but I also had an outdoor setting and I had this like neutral, neutral, just uh, HGRI in here. So uh, multi-materials and environments are pulled in automatically. Uh, now, an example of, of if you did want to go into the configurator wizard, which we're not going to go into in this demo, but we have um, we have some YouTube videos on our YouTube channel that you can check out about how to, how to navigate that configurator wizard if you'd like. Uh, but let me just show you an example of what you can do with the configurator wizard, which is um, actually come in and control model sets. So for example, this is that single chair, right, with those material variations. But I also added the chair upside down and I can also change the materials for that as well. Um, and then I even went as far as just physics, used physics and dropped a bunch of chairs and I can change the material on those chairs too. Um, and so what's really cool is of course you can switch back and forth between model variations when you use that configurator wizard.